Are you okay? I got me a cowboy hat on, and why do you think that is? Because we're at Coyotes. <laughs> That's, oh, Finally she follows the company element. line. I'm doing it just because the boss says so. And it fits real good, too. I've, it, I like this cowboy hat. I was going to wear my question mark hat, but no, I got the cowboy hat on. I'm C.D. Kaplan. Call me Tex. Tex Kaplan. Tex Arcana Freddy used to be my name, actually. I had a guy who called me Tex Arcana Freddy, and that's when I used to wear a hat like this. And my, before I lost the weight, my head used to be big enough to fill this hat. And this is... Thank you, Jen. Okay. <laughs> Keep talking. Jen, no Red Bull for Jen this week. We calmed her on down. You're sure, look You're sure looking pretty this week, Jen. I okay, Jen. <laughs> nice words, honey. How you doing? How about, doing any, good. How are you? Is there anything you'd like to talk about? Well, I'm going to talk about what's going on at Coyotes, but you do all We're going to do the commercial we're first? Well, nope, give them a tease. Last. We're doing it last. Okay, stick around because we got a big announcement coming for all you girls out there. Huge! For you little cowgirls, we got something coming that you all are gonna like. Hey, how about Brett Favre? He wants back. What do you think? Brett Favre needs to quit dancing around the issue. He needs to go ahead and retire. He needs to let the Packers know that he's done because the longer the Packers stay in limbo, the worse it's gonna get. They're trying to put together their new offense with the new quarterback, and then they constantly keep going back and forth. Well, are we going to have our old quarterback or our new quarterback? they got to build their new offense with their new quarterback. Okay, I just wanted a simple little answer. You didn't have to, like, ramble on forever. I'm, but the question... Learn the, from the best, Chuck. <laughs> but the question... T-A-F to you, baby. Texarkana Freddy. The, the, the deal is, though, what about our local boy, Brian, Brian Brom? Brown. Brian Brom's not going to get to play this season. Are you anymore. finishing my sentences now? Have you moved yet? No. Are you in Nashville? No. Well, how can I miss you if you won't go away? This guy, I, I don't have anything this morning. <laughs> <laughs> so why is this morning any different than any other is what I'm asking you right there. Because I went to bed too early. I got too much sleep. Oh, well, see, every once in a while, that's good for you. That's no, why you look I went so rosy. I at 10 cheap. and got up at 8.15. It's 12 hours. Okay. Now, have you been honing in on the Olympics are coming up? Yeah, um, actually, a girl that I work with, um, she is a personal trainer for some of the Olympians, so she got to go over there. Well, name them and claim them. I don't know. She just went with them. She's from U of L. She is a um, sports science major, and that's the, the kind of incisive reporting you're getting here. We know somebody who's training some Olympic athletes you know what? who are off to somewhere. Her name is Lauren Edston. I don't know And where else about. are you going to get that kind of in-depth Olympic sports coverage than right here at cityblocklouisville.com? I mean, really? Is this guy because, talking? Because uh, we like to keep you fully illuminated. Okay, we're getting the thing here. Why don't you just break in here for a I'm second? I'm looking on dictionary.com uh, to see if incisive is actually a well, word. Well, incisive is a word, but why don't you go to Coyotes and talk about what's coming up here at City Block Louisville? It says penetrating, cutting, biting. I don't think you use that in the right context. Anyway. Whatever. Yeah, so, hush. Friday nights, we still have our free guest Fridays going on. Speaking of that, we I had me some of that in Pelizzeri's Pizza last night. Ah! I, I want to tell you something. It's been free gas around our house ever since. Okay, go on ahead. Oh, and I had me lots of pizza drinks. We're giving away too. $100 gas cards. Shut up. $100 gas cards you get in for half price admission, $250 wells, $1.75 <laughs> domestics. And you should come in and check it out. It's only till midnight, baby. But okay. the cast cards go on. That way. means get there early. It's, All right. You drink a lot of beer. And on Friday nights in Foxton, we have Battle of the Fans. So we have different bands coming in to showcase their talents. They bring the most fans. They make the most noise. They win studio time and some recording time. Who's this week's f band fan? I don't know. This week hasn't happened there yet. There we it's go. Cutting party. right through again. All right. Keep going. Shut up. We're getting We also on. have Bullet for My Valentine coming Friday, September 12th. We have the Avett Brothers on September 27th. The Black Keys coming in October. And for those of you that were here for the Hanson Show, they're coming again. Yeah, so anyway, Hanson's coming again. They rock. Those boys are cute. You girls are going to love them. And they're pretty good musicians, too. Oh, wait a second. He's going to pass us a note here. There is a huge development coming for City Block Global. Huge. You don't even know how big this is going to be for us. But... We're not really sure. You need to oh, really wait a know second. What it is we yet. got a note here. Let's see what it says. 
And the drive-by drive truckers. truckers. Not the huge development I was talking about. Uh, but we are going to have the drive-by truckers. That's a huge development. And you have no they're idea big. how good they drive are. Drive-by truckers are big. Southern Rock, they're like real good. I didn't say they weren't. I just said that's not No, the that's a I major development. This guy. That's better than a bl blood for my Valentine. Bullet for my Bullet Valentine. For my okay, we got to wrap it up here because, you know, the, we're, time's getting short. Because you talk too much. We want a little shout out for Leo Wagner, one of Louisville's institutions, Wagner's Pharmacy. We've all gone down there for breakfast at, at least down by the track, passed away, and so may he rest in peace. You said shout out again. Well, it's the hat. Wow. It's the hat talking. Any rate, um, well, say, and, out, and so out, I just want to like go to City Block Louisville. You can see this because you're there now. But go look at the old ones, and also CultureMaven.com, where I've got a bunch of new things, including a review of a great old yeah. film that I love. You guys have a wonderful day. CultureMaven.com. Plus, I'm on the, the radio on Tuesday mornings over on on your 91.9 you just gonna let him promote reviews. himself for free I mean, dang right baby shut up we're done out peace and a big uh, article in leo this week on uofl football if you don't see me for a couple of weeks i'll be in the federal witness protection program so you want to be looking for that i guess that's about all i got i had a bunch of important stuff i was going to like wear this hat and i had a bunch of important stuff to talk about like john mccain and the weather in China and what's going on there politically and their pollution problems and all the new architecture. We had some good stuff to talk about. And you? That's what I thought. Ciao. Say goodnight, Jen. Good night, Jen. Bye, kids.